Hey, how's it going? And today we're taking a quick look at Patchwork, which is the audio, new audio system within Fortnite Creative that allows you to create music, sound effects, and soundtracks for your games. So there's a lot to take in, but I'm going to try to break it down as simple as possible just to get you started really quickly. So when you come in, I'm just in a blank island template project right now. When you go into your devices folder, you'll see all these new audio devices now. It's very intimidating to look at. These are just all individual components. What they've done is they've rigged up some prefabs where they've connected these individual components up together for you. So you don't have to rig them up individually. They're already rigged for you. So there's one for bass, drums, and melodies. So if you think about that, that's your complete sound right there with your bass, your drums, and your melody. You've got a complete song and all you have to do is just drag it into your scene. So that's the bass right there. This is the drums. And if I zoom out here a little bit, I can get the melody. And then there's a couple other key components that we'll kind of explore these real quick. One is called the music manager. And you want that because it controls the tempo and the keys of all of these devices at once. And then there's one other one that's important. It's called B set. And this is what allows you to turn off these prefabs or turn off the speaker systems. So each one of these prefabs has a speaker control. And so those can all be turned off and on with this V set. You can control the V set like if you had a trigger in your game. So if I get a trigger and drag it into the scene, then what I can do is I can set, if I click on the V set device, and let's say I, I think the metal one here is drums. So the middle one is my drums component. So, so let's say I want to turn off the drums. So what I would do is I would come here on my V set modulator out and just grab that. There we go. There we go. Okay. So what I can do is select that speaker device and enable the volume modulator and set it to zero. And then on the, the same device, I can set the value with the trigger here. So now what I can do is have one trigger in the scene, yeah. So what I can do is on my trigger device, I don't know how I have tr two triggers in there, but on trigger. Then when I go over the trigger device, I can control the set value, which will turn off the speaker for me on the drums. So to see what this looks like now, we can just jump into the, I just push all these changes and can jump into the scene. Okay, so we're in here. And what's interesting about this is that I've noticed that every time I drag in new prefab devices, it comes in with a different sound, a different music. So that's interesting to play around with. So you can drag in these three prefabs one time and it comes in with a certain song. The next time you load in the three prefabs, it's gonna have a different song. I've noticed that. So let's just take a quick look at these, what's going on here. So, so this one is, the first one is the melody. And this is the end sequencer that selects the notes right there. And then these are some steps. And here's the speaker device. So if you'll notice in my inventory, I have a controller, if I press one, I can then point at the device and turn off the speaker for the melody. And I can come over here to the bass and turn off the speaker for it. So now all I'm left with is the drums. So you can go in and explore all these devices. To hook up a, a device or disconnect it, you just simply grab it and let go. And to hook it up, you just click and drag it. Like that. It's almost like visual blueprints. It's almost like these are nodes you, as a matter of fact, that's what you can think of them as, as visual nodes. But this, I think the drum one is pretty cool. So, like this is the the bass drum, that's the snare drum. I believe that's a cymbal, and that's a clap. So if you wanted to change this, I would click the instrument that I, the, the drum I want, and then just click there. Pretty intuitive. And then if you want the clap, you just add the clap. So 
So anyway, how we have this rig now is, you see we set up that value setter over here. So we set it up that when I go across this trigger, the drums will go off. Hey, I just had to do a quick edit because I realized to show you the trigger, I can't, but the game needs to be playing, so. Anyway, so we got everything going. And maybe just to show you that it is the drums. Well, I can't turn the devices off, see. I have no control of the game, so. But when I cross that trigger, you'll hear the drums go off. Should be this way. You hear the drums go off? Yeah, so that's how you can control it. Anyway, this is a lot to take in, but I think it's really cool and does give you a lot of control over the sound effects in your game and the music in your game. It's just figuring out how to, you know, be musically inclined and get the notes and everything that's right. But anyway, I think this is a great addition to the game. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.